Okay, so good morning, everybody. Well, today our plan is to do some functions by which we can generate uh, random numbers or random integers or even date and time in MS Excel. So let's get going and understand how these uh, numbers or these integers can be generated with the help of the function that is available in MS Excel. So rand function that is R A N D function in Excel is one of the two functions specially designed for generating random numbers. It returns a random decimal number, real number between zero and one. And uh, it is a volatile function, meaning that a new random number is generated every time the worksheet is calculated. Uh, for example, if we have a look at the Excel sheet, which I have made, so I will write uh, rand function over here and then rand between function. So let's understand the two functions first and then we will do the remaining functions. Let me increase the font size also for the people. So if I simply write rand function, uh, the beauty of the rand function is that, that it does not need any argument in the uh, bracket. So if I simply write uh, equal to rand function, it will automatically give me a random number between 0 and 1. And if I write this rand function second time, you will see that the number that will be generated second time will not be the same as we have got in the first instance. So every time when I write this rand function, it is going to return a random number between 0 and 1. Well, the application of this could be in many areas. For example, we want to test certain softwares or we want to test certain values. In that case, randomly, we can generate this number with the help of the RAND function. RAND function is available in all versions of Excel 2019, 2016, 2013, 2010, 2007, and even in 2003, and XP, and even in 2000. Since the Excel RAND function has no argument, we need to remember that we will simply enter equal to RAND bracket in a cell. Bracket means the starting round bracket and the ending round bracket and then copy the formula to many cells as we want to have. And in those cells, each cell will be having the unique random number that is returned by this particular function. We can also give the uh, number between the upper limit and the lower limit defined by the arguments that we give in the function called rand between. So in rand between, please remember one thing, we can easily generate the functions, we can easily generate the numbers which are there in a specified range. So if I, if you have a look at the Excel sheet, if I simply write rand between, it is going to ask me the upper limit and the lower limit. And I will close the bracket and I will, let's see what number I get. So randomly between 10 to 20, it has given me 16 number. Similarly, when I write another number with the help of uh, rand between, uh, let me write 5, 25 and I close the bracket and I will get a random number 8, which is indeed between 5 and 25. So rand between, we need to remember, it is going to give us the number the, between the bottom and the top limit defined in the uh, rand between function as an argument. Bottom is the lowest number and top is the highest number in the range of random numbers that we want to have. Like rand, Excel's rand between is a volatile function. It returns a new random number. the number and it is going to return the new number every time we have and use this function. For instance, we can easily have a full range of these random numbers. For example, if I simply write equal to rand between bracket 10, 50, and then I select the particular range, that whole range will be filled by these random numbers, which is between 10 and 50. Rand between function in Excel can create both positive and negative numbers. So for example, in Excel sheet, if I write like this, I say rand between bracket minus 10 comma plus 10 and I close the bracket. 
in this case again it is going to give me a random number it this time it has given me seven as a random number over here so likewise i can also generate the negative numbers depending on what i'm looking at and then accordingly it can give me the desired answer in a similar manner if i uh, simply uh, drag this option further you will see that the different numbers have been generated uh, every time we write uh, this function uh, in the new cell. So we have got 2, 3, minus 8, uh, 7, 0, 4, minus 9, and so on. In a similar manner, let me drag the uh, RAND function and uh, let's see what I get this time. And this time also, you will see that the new number has been generated every time I use the RAND function in MS Excel. So that's the best part of the RAND and RAND between function where randomly it is going to return the value uh, that is between the limits defined by the argument or in the RAND function, it is going to simply return any random number that I uh, want to have. Uh, further, we may also have the decimal numbers, but for that we need to mention the uh, arguments in this manner. So I say uh, rand between, I write equal to, let me write the argument. I say rand between bracket. I will define the upper limit and the lower limit in, the, such, in such a manner that it is going to give me the uh, decimal point. So I say one multiplied by 10 comma 10 multiplied by 50 whole divided by 10 right so i repeat again whole divided by 10 so let me close the bracket and then i will divide this by 10 so i got 34.1 as the answer let me drag this down further and let me see what i get in that case so i will drag it and you will see that i'm getting answers in decimal numbers as well and here also I've got these decimal numbers like 40.4, 42.5, 30.5 and so on. So that is one of the way to get the decimal random numbers with the help of the rand between function. I've simply given the uh, lower limit as 1 multiplied by 10 and upper limit as 10 multiplied by 50 whole divided by 10. So it will calculate accordingly and give me the random numbers like that with the help of the rand function.